What's up guys, Sean here. So it's been a while since I did FGO news, but here it is, we're doing FGO news. We're gonna be talking about JP and English, but mostly English because a whole crap of news came out this past weekend. But let's we'll start off with JP. JP version, uh, honestly, again, there's actually not too much to talk about, but the summer event is ending soon. I believe it ends tonight, so definitely grind that if you haven't. Get that free Ishtar, get those materials, get those CEs, get the Hatcher Servant if you haven't got them yet. Um, I personally, is, I'm still missing Helena and Nobunaga, but I'm probably going to go ahead and just skip it for now and wait until next year when they come back. So. Unfortunately, I do really really want them, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip for now. Also for JP, the Prisma Ilya Hatcher has come back. Uh, this does mean uh, Ilya is back along with the CEs, but this doesn't mean the event is coming back. Kudal is not available, unfortunately. Um, Kudal is a free servant, but there's no event going on for Prisma Ilya. Um, the reason why this Hatcher is back is because obviously the new movie that recently released in Japan. So um, if you haven't you know, got your Ilya yet, this is your chance. I personally, I'm not gonna roll for this Hatcher because I already have Ilya, but it'd be really cool to get the CEs, but, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and skip it because, I mean, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay with just Ilya. There are rumors right now that the next limited uh, servant that's coming out is Musashi. Again, she's gonna return because of the next, um, the next storyline for Fate. Uh, it is said that it's going to be about Musashi, so uh, we can look forward to that. There is no confirmation yet, but there are rumors, so uh, most likely it is true because uh, there was like a silhouette or something online, I believe. I, I, don't, I don't remember where I saw it. I'm pretty sure it was Twitter, but uh, I, do, I do remember seeing like a silhouette and like a story, like a little story teaser about um, the next coming story. So it might most likely you know, be Musashi coming back. Now that we're done with the JP side, let's go ahead and talk with about the um, the English stuff. A lot of stuff to talk about for English. I believe it was during Crunchyroll Expo. I think this was the only expo that happened this past weekend. But during, I, I'm pretty sure it's Crunchyroll Expo. Uh, if I'm wrong, uh, just call me down below and tell me. But Crunchyroll Expo during that uh, event, uh, Aniplex USA announced that Okeanos is coming. Um, they didn't really announce a release date or anything. I believe they only released a teaser trailer for Okeanos. So definitely Okeanos is coming and this means a lot of these cool servants like uh, Francis Drake, uh, T uh, Blackbeard, um, Alstolfo, all these char all these character servants are coming to the game soon. Again, there was no release date, only a teaser trailer, so I'm expecting it to come out next month. So definitely uh, look forward to that. Um, other than that, uh, I guess for 10,000 likes on Facebook, we're getting 18 free Saint Quartz, four summon tickets, and three golden fruits. Always welcome to the game. Uh, for reaching 2,000 shares for a specific post, I believe. I'm not too sure what post it was, but uh, we will receive 10 mana prisms a day and a total of 130, so always cool. And then uh, during the period of September 7th to September 21st, um, we will be giving out login bonus. Oh, the first login bonus will start, and then from there we'll be get you know all this all these bonuses. And it's best if you log in 13 days consecutively. So uh, definitely log in 13 days straight, or just log in every day at least. You know, to get all that good stuff. Um, then we're also gonna get some half off campaign quests, uh, AP quests basically. Um, I think this is the first time we get half off AP quest for English. I might be wrong, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the first time we're getting half off AP quest for English. But uh, really cool that we're getting this. Uh, we rarely get this in JP, so um, definitely take advantage of this guys. So um, JP again, we rarely get this, so uh, definitely you use as much you know stamina as you can for this. Because I, I usually like to use my, uh, my golden apples for these. For this stuff because um you know you can get all more exp exp and stuff like that so definitely um if you want to be like me do it but you can go ahead and keep your apples for events as well and then of course the big news sakata kintoki is coming because of the 1 million downloads for the english fate grand order uh first of all congrats for fate grand order english we're reaching 1 million downloads that's crazy that's awesome and especially in a short period of time and I'm very confused why they brought in King Toki first, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, the JP players that, you know, that play Fate Grand Order JP are kind of confused 
about why they are releasing Kintoki right now. Uh, for those who just started, you know, figure in order with English, uh, this is not a surprise to you. You guys are like, yeah, we get a new servant, but um, Kintoki, the reason why it's weird for us is because Kintoki actually released on a later date. Like, it probably took a year for him to come out for, or not a year, but like almost a year for him to come out. So, um, to have him as the second limited servant coming out for English is a big surprise. Uh, I honestly didn't think he was going to come out, you know, this early. But uh, we're we're getting King Toki for English, which again is awesome because he's definitely one of the best berserkers in the game, even for JP. But um, he recently he's been going down, but definitely he's going to be the best berserker in the English for a while, and um, definitely he um, he is something that you want. He, I mean something. He is someone that you want to roll for. So definitely, if you want a a really really good berserker. Uh, definitely he is a servant to roll for. So this also confirms that the English version of Fate Grand Order is not going to follow the release dates of JP. So a lot of these events and maybe these limited servants releases are going to be totally different from JP. Like uh, a lot of people were t saying that Gudo Gudo Order might be pushed back to a different date, maybe until next year. So Okita and Nobunaga, we might not be able to get them until next year. Um, something like Skasaha as well. We we were I, I was told that Skasaha wasn't gonna release until next year as well. Like apparently all these rumors are going on right now on Twitter, Reddit. I even got personal messages from like um, from my viewers, like from you guys. I've been getting a lot of personal messages from you guys saying that hey, look at this. This is this 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 is on the internet right now, or they announced this during this and stuff like that. So uh, this def like this definitely confirms like the Kintoki release definitely confirms that we're gonna get different releases states for uh for english so um expect anything like i can't i can't predict anything anymore you can't like there's no way like i can answer your guys' question about like oh when do you think this is gonna release when do you think this is gonna release i i really can't answer that anymore like it's it's, it's gonna be different especially because of this kintoki so um yeah this changes everything again no, no, it doesn't really change anything it just you know changes up the release dates for all these events and serpents so Definitely this came out of left field like I, I don't know like where this came from <laughs> again It's really cool that we're getting Kintoki uh, All this good stuff for English really really awesome. Um, I'm definitely I'm trying to grind myself in English right now um, I'm trying to you know get my level up my master ranking up. I'm trying to um, ascend all my servants right now as well so um, Yeah, I again I for those who added me on English. I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't been really focusing on it as, as much because I've been focusing more on J JP and some other games as well. I've been playing a lot of PC games actually recently with my friends. I've been trying to, I've been trying to play Battlefield a lot more, so um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, definitely, um, this is really cool for English and JP again, there's really nothing much going on. So uh, yeah, that's basically about it. Uh, I won't be editing this video too much because I'm actually in a hurry right now. I actually have to do some stuff right now. Um, I'm just gonna edit real quick and upload this on the YouTube. So uh, sorry about not editing it too much. But again, um, King Toki is coming and a lot of great stuff coming for English. So definitely always log in for English guys. But anyways, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, more FGO videos are coming soon. I actually have a lot of other videos saved up as well. I just got to edit them. I just haven't really had the time recently because of work and um, some personal stuff. But uh, definitely, we're going to make more videos soon. So look forward to that. And good luck on King Toki when you guys uh, roll for him because I'm definitely going to be rolling for him as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next video. Later.